Hello and welcome to the Daily Visual Bible. I'm Robbie Yates. Can you believe that we are now in the last few chapters of Genesis? When I started the Daily Visual Bible, a couple of questions I was asked was how I would be able to produce a show every day and how far into the Bible would I record? The honest answer to the first was then and is today, only with a lot of prayer and reflection. The honest answer to the second at the time was that I would probably get halfway through Genesis. I find it a blessing that I have proved myself wrong on this matter and I pray that I will continue for a long time to come. I feel we've come a long way together by only covering the first book of the Bible. I look forward to our continued relationship as we explore more of what the Bible actually has to say. Don't forget that you can email me directly at dailyvisualbible at gmail.com and you can check out the website at www.dailyvisualbible.co.uk Of course, as always, you can find links to these in the description box below. When you're checking out those links, I ask you to consider the link of a friend of mine. Richard Turner will be cycling 207 miles to fight against human trafficking. Please carefully consider sponsoring this noble cause at www.justkiving.com forward slash A21 cycle. When you consider that the average age of a trafficking victim is 12 years of age, I trust you see the importance of this charity. That 12 year old is bound to be somebody's daughter or little sister. And let's do the right thing and open God's word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they will come to a better understanding of you. Amen. Genesis chapter 50 Joseph fell on his father's face, wept on him and kissed him. Joseph commanded his servants, the healers, to embalm his father. And the healers embalmed Israel. Forty days were fulfilled for him, but that is how many days it takes to embalm. The Egyptians wept for him for seventy days. When the days of weeping for him were past, Joseph spoke to the house of Pharaoh, saying, If now I have found favour in your eyes, please speak in the ears of Pharaoh, saying, My father made me promise, saying, Listen, I am dying. Bear me in the grave, which I have dug for myself in the land of Canaan. Now therefore, please, let me go up, and bury my father, and I will come again. Pharaoh said, Go up, and bury your father, just like he made you swear. Joseph went up to bury his father, and with him went up all the servants of Pharaoh, the elders of his house, or the elders of the land of Egypt, or the house of Joseph, his brothers and his father's house, only their little ones, their flocks and their herds, they left in the land of Goshen. They went up with him, both chariots and horsemen, it was a very great company. They came to the threshing floor of Atat, which is beyond the Jordan, and there they mourned with a very great and severe sense of loss. He mourned for his father seven days. When the inhabitants of the land, the Canaanites, saw the mourning in the floor of Atad, he said, This is a grievous mourning by the Egyptians, therefore its name is called Abel Miseraim, which is beyond the Jordan. His sons did to him just as he commanded them. For his sons carried him into the land of Canaan and buried him in the cave of the field of Machpelah, where Abraham brought with the field for possession of a burial site from Mephon the Hittite before Mamre. Joseph returned into Egypt, he and his brothers, and all that went up with him to bury his father, after he had buried his father. When Joseph's brothers saw that their father was dead, he said, It may be that Joseph will hate us, and will fully pay us back for all the evil which we did to him. He sent a message to Joseph, saying, Your father commanded before he died, saying, You shall tell Joseph, Now please forgive the disobedience of your brothers and their son, because they did evil to you. Now please forgive the disobedience of the servants of the God of your father. Joseph wept when they spoke to him. His brothers also went and fell down before his face 
and they said, See, we are your servants. Joseph said to them, Don't be afraid, for my God, as for you, you meant evil against me, but God meant it for good, to bring to pass, as it is today, to save many people alive. Now therefore, don't be afraid, I will nourish you and your little ones. He comforted them and spoke kindly to them. Joseph lived in Egypt, he and his father's house. Joseph lived 110 years. Joseph saw Ephraim's children to the third generation. The children also of Machia, the son of Manasseh, were born on Joseph's knees. Joseph said to his brothers, I am dying, but God will surely visit you and bring you up out of this land, to the land which he swore to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob. Joseph took an oath of the children of Israel, saying, God will surely visit you, and you shall carry up my bones from here. So Joseph died, being 110 years old, and they abandoned him, and he was put in a coffin in Egypt. <laughs>